What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking about Brittany Venti. She has a very interesting video, but before we continue, if you want to like, follow, hey, we appreciate it. If you don't, it's cool. We're working our way towards the soundboard, so if you want to help donate, there is my cash app. That's it. DJ, get to the video. Let's listen. And if there's any incellular people watching, can you please let me know your answer? You guys say that you want a woman who is like traditional, Catholic, and pretty, and wears sundresses, but then why do you turn on pornography and go jerk it to women who are not wearing sundresses and who are degenerate like yourselves? I wear sundresses and I'm a woman and I have long hair and they say that these are all things that they like but then they don't like me and they say really mean things to me they call me the ho word I really am looking for answers um this would be great towards scientific research for women and us understanding um why men lie so much let me know in the comments I have a question now, understand, this is Britney's personality. She's a jokester. She makes jokes all the time. So as much as she's sounding like she's bimbo, that's her whole stick. You know, she does that on purpose. Very, She's a very bright girl. She writes blogs and she makes great videos. But she did make a great point here. And that's a point I, I do want to answer, obviously. Why do men look at why do men look at porn when they say that they want a woman who's a virgin and they, these all these red pill guys say they want men they want girls who are virgins and they want girls who are um, dressed nice and they dress modest and they don't have the boobs out and they don't take pictures on Instagram why do men say they want that and then immediately go jerk off to pornography and it's another thing that I I, I think that is a really good point is why do men say they want virgins or they want women with low, low body counts? But then also sometimes you'll hear the, I'm not saying all men say this. I think average men don't think this because they know they can't sleep with 50 girls. It's just not feasible. But when you hear the red pillars try to tell average men, average guys, you should sleep with 50 women or something like that. And then complain that there's not enough virgins and there's not enough women with low body counts. You, if you sleep with 50 women, if you're telling most men to do that and then most men go out and sleep with 50 women, that is going to push women's body count up by virtue. Just mathematically, that's going to happen. If you're having guys and tell them to go sleep with 50 women and there's millions of guys sleeping with 50 women, that's 50 million women that have slept with guys. If that, that's not going to happen. I'm just, just saying if we played it out, that means most women are going to have a body count because you're telling most men to go sleep with women. And then if a girl doesn't give it up, the man will be like, why aren't you going to give it up? Didn't you give it up to so-and-so? And then she's like, well, you got a point. And then her body count goes up. It doesn't make sense. You cannot ask for women to have a low, low body count and then also tell men to go sleep with more women so their body count goes up by virtue. And then tell men if a girl won't sleep with you, then she's a, then, uh, if a girl won't sleep with you, then she's not worth it. And so you make the girl feel bad for not sleeping with you, but then also get on her butt cheeks about her having a body count. That doesn't make any sense. And so they sound, I'm not saying they're idiots, but it's an idiotic argument. Do you understand? Hold on, guys. I got to turn this brightness down. That's driving me crazy. That is driving me crazy. And we'll continue. All right, it's just a little too, too too white for me. Okay. All right, back to what I was saying. So now back to the other argument. Why do men look at pornography when they say that they want a woman of virtue? I will defend men in this case. The <laughs> men aren't, aren't looking at porn because that's the kind of woman they want. Men are looking at porn because most of the time they're addicted to it. If men are looking at women who are sexually deviant on internet, and remember that when it comes to pornography, a lot of these women don't want to be doing pornography. A lot of these women, they get coerced into it. Some of these women are sold into pornography. Some of these women are being pimped. Some of these women are being filmed without any of their knowledge. Y'all got to understand, porn is not exactly what it seems. Porn is a very sex criminal enterprise. Y'all saw what happened to Pornhub for you guys who may, you know, go on Pornhub. 
10.6 million of Pornhub's videos got deleted. They just lost a lawsuit for a billion dollars for having videos up for women who didn't consent and begged them to take the videos down. Women have videos on Pornhub that were being filmed as revenge porn and they asked Pornhub to take it down and they wouldn't. So right now here lately, a, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and look it right up. Um, here lately, Pornhub just lost a lawsuit worth a billion dollars. So to say that that when you're watching the women on Pornhub, that it's some grand place where every girl on there is wanting to do that. It's just, it's just foolish. Um, hold on. Oh, you know what? You know how X does that whole shadow betting thing? So if you look up a certain person, you can't find them anymore. I, I really hate that. Like if you try to look up Brittany right now on uh, X, you can't even find her because they have her, Shadow ban, like her her account still exists, but you can't find her. Okay, here we go. And then we'll continue this discussion. All right, uh, victim just won $1.2 billion in a lawsuit against uh, the uh, perpetrator who made a Pornhub profile in her name and uploaded new videos of her on the site against her will. 1.2 billion dollars and they're still in a lawsuit right now Pornhub doesn't care who gets put up there if y'all think Pornhub is some morally standing place that's like yeah you know oh you don't want your video up fine we're cool with that no Pornhub is about making money and they'll make the money off backs of women who don't care and the backs of men who don't care there is absolute and we'll say it here there's people being molested in uh Pornhub there's people who are being literally forced and assaulted and Pornhub does not care that's why they're being sued. That's why PayPal got away from them. That's why these credit card companies tried to get away from them. That's why Instagram tried to get away from them. So the, the concept that these that men are going, that if you are a guy who watches porn, just know that what you're watching is not what it seems. I'm not getting on you. I'm not here judging you. I understand there's an addiction to it. We've been taught at a young age. I get it. So that brings me back to what I was saying. If you're, it's not that men are looking at porn and saying, these are the women I want. Most of the time, they're addicted. From a young age, they get told that sex is so important. It's what makes you a man. Every 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 freaking ad gets uh, shown to us men because every ad that gets shown to us is women being sexy, women putting on lipstick in a sexy way, women showing off their la lingerie. And then you get women who get on Instagram. You get women, no matter what they try to do, they try to breed on you when you're a young man and you don't have money you don't have anything going on you so these women take advantage and they're like oh this is a lonely man let me show him in my feet let me show him my booty let me show him this let me show him my breast let me give him a little bit of attention and so these men they just get so manipulated into falling for these women and then as soon as they come out and be sexually seductive they think these men feel like they're getting something that they can't get out here on the streets which i wouldn't recommend anyway but still you get made fun of for being a virgin. You get made fun of for not having a girlfriend. You get made fun of for this. You get made fun of that. And so men, what do they do when they tend to get so lonely? They st they start thinking, man, I can't even get a girlfriend, all this stuff. They turn to porn because those women don't say nothing to them. These women make them feel good about themselves and all that. Even though, like I said, you know, these women not be, might be actually wanting to do this, but they are. But nonetheless, you get on there and they're doing all this stuff. So it's not that men are picking women in pornography over women who don't do porn. It's just that they're addicted. Just like somebody who may be an alcoholic is not going to tell you that they love to drink. You know, they're saying, I can't not drink. It's not It's not that I'm telling you, you go out and drink. I'm not telling you that I love being drunk all the time. I'm telling you, I can't function without it. There are men who can't go a day without masturbating. They can't go a day without looking at porn. It's not that they want those women. It has become an addiction for them. Now, on the other side, there are some men who are addicted to pornography who will still say this stuff about women who are normal women. Be like, yeah, I want a girl who's a virgin and all this kind of stuff. But they do go out and sleep with a bunch of women. They do go out and go for any woman they can see because they can do that. Some men are genetically gifted, genetically beautiful, genetically um, tall, handsome, all that kind of stuff. Right. And so they can go get these type of women. And these will be the same men who will turn around and be like, I don't want a woman who uh, is in porn and everything, but they'll sleep with OnlyFans models every single day. You know what I mean? You got people like Myron who are like, I want a girl who's like this, but every time he gets women on his show who are considered thoughts, he wants to sleep with them. 
it doesn't make a lot of sense. And I would agree with that. Why would you say you tell all these men to go get a virtuous woman, but you yourself want to sleep with OnlyFans models? Any chance you get. Why do you do that if you don't like them? Oh, because, you know, they're just, you know, <laughs> you know what word we're going to say. Oh, they're just Jezebel. They're just women. They're, they're like a sex toy, right? There's something to masturbate with. Okay, but don't you think that's deceiving to the other men out here? who aren't going to be able to go after those kind of women, you tell them not to do that kind of stuff, but also tell them to look pretty much lust after women who do do OnlyFans and stuff like that, even though some of them don't want to do it, once again. But nonetheless, there are women who think it's empowering, and you tell them to go after these women. Why do you put OnlyFans models on your shows? Because you know men are going to watch. Because why? Because these women are attractive. And then you get on there just to humiliate them. Why don't you put on women who aren't traditionally pretty? Uh, you know, they did do that on whatever clips, to be fair. But why don't you put on women who are just normal looking women who aren't only fan models, who are women who just work at the local McDonald's. They work at the barista. They're a barista at Starbucks. They don't bring those kind of women on because they're trying to appeal to a certain audience, which is young men. So it doesn't make sense for you to ask these men to look for a wife and then only give them examples of women who you wouldn't consider wives. And then you might bring on one woman who's completely been married for 20 years just to get her to come on there and say, you women are stupid. It's just like, I don't see how the red pill community is helping anymore. I'm just being honest. If we want to talk about men's rights and the stuff that men have to go through and them being lonely, we can talk about that. But red pill is not that anymore. Let's be honest. Can we be honest for a second? Red pill is not about that. It's about making money. That's all it is. It's all about making money at this point. They just make as many clips as they can to uh, appeal to teenage boys. That's all it's turned into. It's getting on there, get some beautiful woman on there who looks good and get her to say something dumb or something most men would disagree with. Like, oh, you don't think you don't think uh, you don't think a woman can work. And then we go into that same boring argument that we've had for years. And like, OK. Most grown men, I mean, most grown men are, we, we understand that some women are going to have to work. We're not goofy. A lot of us men don't make enough money to really hold down a whole family at 30 years old. Okay. So we kind of need the woman to work. It's not ideal, but it's just the way inflation goes. And there's more to that. Obviously, there's a reason they want us all working. So we can't look after our kids and our kids have to go to a public school and then we they don't teach our kids whatever, because we're too busy working. But at the end of the day, you know, it just is what it is. So I have to agree. I don't think men look at porn because that's the kind of women they want. They're normally addicted. And that's not what they want at all. They want to be able to settle down with a woman who not necessarily has all these bodies. But, I mean, you got to be realistic. Um, she's got bodies. she got bodies. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying going after a woman who has 100 bodies. But you yourself cannot have 100 bodies either. Let's just be fair. Can't we start acting like... Average people getting with average people. Everybody lives in this fantasy world. Listen, I'm an average man. I barely make average money because I made stupid decisions in my 20s. And I deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm married to an average woman who makes average money. Okay? It is life. But they want to tell people like me, they want, like, if I listen to the red pill for what it is, I'd be single the rest of my days because I'm already short. Right now, I'm currently overweight. It just doesn't make sense for me to be asking for the world. That red pill stuff doesn't help me at all. All it does is make me hate women at the end of the day because it's pretty much I pretty much say, oh, why can't I get that girl who's super beautiful and has a great body and stays fit? And then they get me to pretty much say, oh, it's because she does the OnlyFans. Of course, these OnlyFans sluts. That's what it is. And then they just pretty much get me to think that every woman who's pretty and attractive won't date me because they'd rather do OnlyFans and make money and get to the bag. And it's just like, you know, that's not always the case, man. It's just, when these women are younger, they are in the prime of their life. There's no reason to go after a man like me. Short, fat, might as well shoot for the stars. I'm not mad about it. I'm not. My problem is, is when you get average uh, guys trying to get pissed off about girls who look good in their 20s. And then you they tell you, they, they try to make you feel good as a man saying like, Oh, she's 30. That's why I didn't date her. You couldn't date her anyway. You know, just because a woman's 30 doesn't mean like her value is zero. 
I mean, she can still get an average, you know, an average looking man, make an average money. She may not get what we would consider high value, but she still can get plenty of men if she's attractive. You, on the other hand, like me being in your 30s, short and fat, the chances of me getting that woman is probably zero. I'm not going to get the market. The, uh, what is her name? The chick from uh, the Barbie movie now that everybody keeps saying that, oh, they wouldn't give it to her because she's 32. You're stupid. She's an attractive woman and she's successful. She wouldn't go for you anyway, dog. <laughs> you think you sitting in your basement eating Cheeto puffs, she would go for you because she's 32? That's so dumb. No, she's not going for you, bro. She not. She can still get plenty of men. Is she going to get the best of the best? No, but who does get the best of the best? Even young, pretty women aren't all going to get the best of the best. Statistically, that's impossible. So it's just goofy for uh, people out there just saying, oh, because she's 30, I wouldn't get with her. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you absolutely would. Because you're not that guy. I'm not that guy. Why do we feel like we have to have everything in this world? Women, Men who talk like that sound like the same. They sound just like the women they complain about. The same thing. They sound, oh, what? she should date me because she's in her 30s and her value is low. So is yours, Dumbo. Your, your value is low, too. You're working at the local gas station. What are you talking about? Why are you acting like you're working? Why, why are you acting like you're an NBA player and you're the top of the game and you're a legend and you're going to go into the Hall of Fame because you work at a gas station and you happen to be 30 and also be a male? That Sorry, that does not make your value go up at all. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares who you are. That's fine. But can't you be happy as a man and get with the average girl who also works at the gas station with you? That's that might be that just might ha be how it goes. A lot of men, that's what that's how it is. And they raise a family and they die. And this it's all good, baby. You make as much money as you can, but yeah, not everybody's going to be a millionaire. But everybody wants the entire world. I know I went off on a whole thing there, but it's just it's just. It, it just drives me crazy to see what's happening to the dating market. It's not just the women. Sometimes we need, I'm, I'm, you know, I've talked about the women enough. I need to talk to the men because I'm an average looking man. So I want to tell you what it's really like her here on the streets. How I got my wife is because I didn't have no high expectations. Do you think my wife's perfect? No, there's some things I don't like. Do you think she likes everything about me? Absolutely not. Things I got to work on, things she got to work on. I got to lose weight. She may need to lose about 15 pounds, but I need to lose way more. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to get out here and act like we're the top of the world when we not. Stop dogging on women all the time. I, I'll say this too, man. Any man who watches Red Pill all the time to me is a loser. I'm sorry. If you find, if you find validation and dunking on women all day, every day, you're a loser, dog. You're a loser, okay? It doesn't make sense for you to get validation for some girl to get rejected. If you watch women getting rejected online all day, something's wrong. If you watch women getting beat up every day, that's wrong. I mean, there's something wrong. I mean, and not like physically. I mean, like when you see those videos of men, a man uh, being equal with a woman, and it shows some guy, some girl getting in an argument with the guy, and she gets slapped if that's what that that's what gets going for you, if that's what makes you happy every day, something's wrong. You're a loser. Okay? You shouldn't take gratification out of that. Okay, can those videos be funny? Of course, but it shouldn't be an everyday thing like you wait to go home to go watch women get owned. It's goofy. Okay. Anyway, that's it on Brittany Venti.